All right, testing, one, two, three. We are driving down to uh, Cincinnati uh, to go visit a church. Yes. And we have a uh, special guest, Pastor Ross. Yay! Yay! So we're going to Seven Hills Church down in the old Cincinnati. Well, and and uh, Lawrence, Kentucky, but yeah. Lawrence? Lawrence. It sounds cool to say Cincinnati. Cincinnati. In Cincinnati area. And uh, we're gonna check out their youth group, and apparently they have a special foam night, right? Yeah. And so we're gonna see how that is. Yeah, also shout out to Matt and Hunter for leading high school tonight in Lithopolis. Also yep. shout out to Andy and Megan Bryce yep. for leading high school in Lancaster so we can do this. Yep. It's not possible without you guys. And shout out to Luke. Benedetto. Benedetto. Bene. Bene. Hopefully we're saying that right. Benedetto. The last seven hills. Be in our contact. Yeah, super good dude. <laughs> Guys, we're already so we're already running late. Like and by an hour. We're running late by an hour. Who, that's no one's fault. I'm not gonna say, but uh, yeah, we're running late, and now we need to get gas. But we had to get our I mean, we had to get our Starbucks run though. <laughs> really? We're running late. Put the crap. How long has that been there? <laughs> That was last Thursday. <laughs> so not very long. But I uh, did make sure today that it is still there. Oh. Jesse, what do I hate? Uh, Bob Evans. For the love of God, that is the worst place. What? You make okay, hold on. Whoa. How do you not know who Mandy Moore is? You're upset that I don't know who... I, I don't know who Mandy Moore is, actually. Okay. Is she old? She's we talked about that last she's week. Not. <laughs> yeah. She's older. She used to be one of the big pop singers when Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and all them came out. She was in Walk to Remember. She's so beautiful. She's a Christian. Um, and oh. So I went on my first mission trip when I was a sophomore. Yeah. To the Dominican Republic. Yeah. And I was there a couple weeks and we took a little charter jet to uh, some other island. And when I was on that plane, which was terrifying. I found out that the pilot was Mandy Moore's dad. I mean, sophomore year, about five years ago. But I, uh, so I decided, okay, while I'm on this plane, I'm gonna write a letter to her how I feel. Yeah. So I wrote this whole letter. I said, look, I said, Mandy, I heard you're single. I said, good news is I'm single. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, you may not know this, but I love Jesus. Um, so next time you're in Greenville, I want to take you on a date. So, wrote this whole letter. Uh, gave it to her dad on the way out and said, hey, if you don't mind to give this to your daughter. The sad news is we never went out. <laughs> but the cool news is, uh, about two weeks ago, no joke, I got in the mail a glossy picture of Mandy Moore signed. Thanks, Russ, for the letter. Best of luck. That was the greatest letdown ever. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest letdown ever. That's, that's one way, that's a great way of saying it. No. That is a great way of great saying way no. Of saying no. You know? Hey, so girls, if you're turning down a guy, just make sure you, you <laughs> send a him. picture, blow it up, <laughs> sign it, and that's the luck. <laughs> you just mail it to him. <laughs> intimidated. She's a little intimidated. I mean, she, she heard about me. I mean, she probably didn't know how what you looked like either. So yeah, that's true. Probably all she knows is a fat 30 year old who lives in his mom's basement. Yeah. 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 Well, you don't live in your mom's basement. <laughs> Just joking. So, uh, Mandy Moore, I mean, I don't know about her. Uh, entertainment does have a, uh, a big role in our lives, and so I think we should at least talk about that a little bit, at least maybe how it affects us. Um, but I think first to understand entertainment, I think we need to kind of understand how our brains work. Um, 
Um, and I think one cool thing that our brains do is they like can control our bodies without us thinking about it. Um, so like, for example, have you ever seen somebody yawn and then you yawn without even thinking about it? It like just causes like maybe you're like at the lunch table and just like everybody starts yawning. That's a good example of how our brains work. You know, our minds can just pick up on stuff without us even realizing. We love you, God! Jesus Christ! Do, 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 do. Belt of truth! <laughs> Breastplate of righteousness! We'll do it for Jesus Christ! <laughs> Whoa. So our parents tell us like, we need to be careful what we listen to, what we watch, and even, like, who we follow on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, and maybe you guys aren't even allowed to have social media because your parents are scared about what you're gonna see and, and the stuff that's out there. And I think that's something worth thinking about. Like, I think we need to be careful and mindful of, of what we surround ourselves with. I'm not saying to only listen to Chris Tomlin 24 seven or, or whatever, but we need to be aware of what we're surrounding ourselves with. You've probably heard this saying, uh, and it's a saying I personally don't really like, it's garbage in, garbage out, which basically was just a way for People to say you're not allowed to listen to bad music or watch bad movies or like even like like romantic movies. Yeah, I'm talking about Mandy. Mandy. Mandy who? Mandy Moore. Oh my gosh, Pastor Russ. You gotta let it go, Pastor Russ. Um, no, we're not talking about Mandy. We're talking about like we need to be careful and mindful of what entertainment we surround ourselves with. That's what we're talking about today. Gotcha. Not Mandy. Like walk to remember. Yes, that's entertainment. <laughs> Anything that's entertainment, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why, but this actually reminds me of a verse. Uh, Romans 12, 1 through 2. Is therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Wow. That's a very, that's a very specific verse that you just remembered. It's so weird how wow. it ties in perfectly oh my. we're talking This about. happens to me all the time. It's a gift! <laughs> so, um, how that verse ties into what we're talking about, you know where it says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world? Well, you know, we're talking about how our brains just naturally pick up on stuff. And so that's kind of why we have to be at least wise when we choose our entertainment. Uh, because our brains can just naturally pick up on stuff and we can start to be conformed um, to the pattern of this world without even realizing it. Um, and that's not saying you can't watch, you know, the shows that you like or whatever, you know. Uh, it just means use wisdom. At your age, you do have to listen to and respect what your parents say when it comes to this, but also on your own. Like, you just need to be wise about what affects you and what doesn't affect you. Um, because if we're not careful, the things that we consume can actually start to consume and change us without us even realizing it.
will do a foam fest at X Church. Get the views! Okay, we just got back from Seven Hills and it is pretty late, so we're very tired. But it is past my bedtime. It is past Jesse's bedtime because he is an old man. And I'm going to wake up in a couple hours. Uh, yeah, because to get your baby. Anyways, we can be subconsciously influenced by the world without us even knowing it. And so us being like taking a list of what we surround ourselves with um, can be very good with helping us to renew our minds. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching episode 26. 26. <laughs>